Cimarron Ridge by Pulte Homes is a brand new master community located in Menifee, California. With three distinct collections and nine different floor plans, there is a lot of variety here for people interested in a new construction home. The development is perched up on a hill in northwest Menifee and located north of Audi Murphy Ranch. The closest freeway is the I-215 and it's located about 8 to 10 minutes away from the McCall Boulevard exit in Menifee. The McCall exit has two different grocery stores, including Stater Bros and Vons, and there's a couple fast food restaurants in there as well. The McCall Boulevard exit is located just one exit north of Newport Road, which is the central hub of all of Menifee. That's where you'll find Target, Best Buy, Lowe's, and many, many other restaurants and stores. Like always, I'm going to get into the taxes, the HOA, the amenities, all of that after I go over the floor plan, so stick around with me to the end. If you've seen my other new construction videos, you know my disclaimer about taking me with you on your very first visit so that you can maintain that representation. And remember that the prices that I'm about to show you reflect a base price. Estimate about 10% more to take into account lot premiums, structural premiums, and any other premiums that may be attached to your purchase. Let's jump into these floor plans. Pathway is the most affordable option with three floor plans available. We're going to kick it off with a Pathmaker. This is a five bedroom, two and a half bathroom, 2,397 square foot home with a two car garage starting at $551,000. The most popular floor plan here is the Visionary. This is a five bedroom, three bathroom, 2,824 square foot home with a two car garage starting at $576,000. The last floor plan I wanna mention here is the Gateway. There is not a model available of this home, but this is a four bedroom, two bathroom, 1,959 square foot home with a two car garage starting at $526,000. This is a single story home and is the only single story available in this community. In terms of structural options, you can add extra space at the refrigerator in the kitchen or add shelves in the laundry room, but that is the extent of your structural options at Pathway. There isn't an option to add a suite or extra bedrooms or bathrooms. At Greenway, however, that's a different story. Moving slightly up the hill, you have Greenway. We're gonna kick things off with the Ferndale floor plan. This is a three to four bedroom home with a two and a half to three and a half bathroom option. The home is 3,125 square feet with a two car garage starting at $596,000. There are many options available for this floor plan, including converting the flex space at the front of the home into a suite, therefore adding an extra bedroom and bathroom. You can also add uh, double doors to enter into the space from the home from the foyer. You have an option to add a fireplace into the great room, and you can also add an extended slider heading out onto the back patio. There's an option to extend the cooktop and the island in the kitchen. And on the exterior, on the first floor, there's an option to add the covered patio. Heading upstairs, you have an option to remove the pony wall here. And in the primary bathroom, you have an option to take out the tub and add an extended shower with a seat. There's also an option to add a doorway between the primary bathroom and the primary suite. Moving on to Pinewood, this is a four to five bedroom home with two and a half to three and a half bathrooms, 3,410 square feet with a three car garage starting at $611,000. The options in this floor plan are the exact same as those in the Ferndale, where the flex space downstairs can be converted into a suite, fireplace added to the great room, etc. However, you have the option upstairs to remove the tub from the hallway bathroom and just make it a shower. Moving on to Meadows, this is going to be on the higher end of the price range. It's a gated community at the top of the hill and there are four floor plans available in here. The models for this development are not completed yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and talk about the different specs for the different floor plans that will be available in here. Let's kick things off with Bristol. This is a four to five bedroom home with three to four bathrooms. It's 2,550 square feet with a three car garage. The starting price for this home is $622,000. This is a single story home with many options. Looking first at bedroom three and bedroom four, this can be converted into a living suite. So bedroom three just being the bedroom and bedroom four turning into the guest living space. For both hall bathrooms two and three or guest bathroom three, if you choose to go with the living suite, you can choose to eliminate the tub and just have a shower in these bathrooms. In the flex space off the hall, there is an option to extend the space just a little bit and also add a double door if you'd like. In the great room, you have the option of adding a fireplace and adding an extended slider. On the exterior, you have a covered patio option. In the kitchen area, you have the option to extend the island and the cooktop space, just like you could in Pinewood or Ferndale in the Greenway development. One of the most unique options in this floor plan is that that third car tandem space can be converted into a suite, complete with a walk-in closet and its own bathroom. If you opt to have this suite, you have the option, just like in the other two bathrooms, to have a shower or a shower tub combo. Moving on to the Oxford, this is a five bedroom, four bathroom home at 3,520 square feet with a three car garage. The starting price for this home is $682,000. In this floor plan, all of the same structural options are available as were available in the Bristol. However, there is no option for a guest suite or suite in general. That third car tandem stays in place in the fifth bedroom as well. 
Moving upstairs, the options here are the same as they were in the Pinewood and Ferndale homes over at Greenway, meaning that you can substitute the tub for just a shower in the bathroom, remove the pony wall. A unique selling point for this home is that the primary suite is downstairs. Oftentimes in a two-story home, you're going to find all the bedrooms upstairs with maybe a downstairs bedroom. But in this home, you have both the primary suite and a fifth bedroom. The three other bedrooms are all upstairs. Up next, we have the Ashford model. This is a six to seven bedroom home with four to five bathrooms. It's 3,699 square feet plus with a three car garage. The starting price for this home is $692,000. This home is similar to the Bristol model in that that third car tandem space can be converted into a suite. And all the other structural options, including the flex room, the great room, and the kitchen, they are the same and consistent across all of these floor plans. So they are the same here as they are in the previous homes. Here's a quick look at the upstairs of this floor plan where you have the option to remove the pony wall and or remove the tubs to add showers in the bathrooms. And finally, we have the largest home available here in Meadows. This is the Shelton model. It's six to seven bedrooms, four and a half to five and a half bathrooms at 3,994 square feet with a three car garage. The starting price for this home is $712,000. There are many unique structural options available in this floor plan. Having the guest suite is the default standard option. However, you can add a kitchenette, washer and dryer, or an exterior door to the guest living space. And just like with the Bristol and Ashford models, you can convert that third car tandem space into another suite. All the other options, including the flex space, great room, and kitchen are the same as in the other floor plans. That includes the upstairs, so here's a quick look at the floor plan upstairs, including your loft and all of the other bedrooms. Note that the primary suite is upstairs in this floor plan. I wanted to take a second to talk about availability here at Pathway. All of the homes that you see here are future lots and releases for the homes, except for those in red, which have already been sold. The ones in green are available. The two homes in blue are the model homes. So there's a lot of availability here right now. If you have questions about pricing for those homes, just feel free to ask me. Uh, I have a price sheet as of the making of this video for those homes. Everything in gray is slated for a future release. Here's a look at where the Greenway homes are gonna be between Pathway and Meadows. As you head from east to west, that, that's moving uphill. And so these homes are gonna be between those two, moving slightly uphill, and the red homes are sold and the green homes are available and then the two light blue homes you see there are quick move-ins so they're very motivated to sell those and they're ready to go here's a look at meadows and the current availability again this is a gated section of the development all of the red dots of course being sold lots gray coming up next and then the green dots are homes that are currently available so plenty of availability in here much more availability to come and uh, the lots are decent size in here as well just want to show you as of today this is what's available feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions about pricing looking at the amenities for this community there will be a 10 acre sports park along with walking trails and plenty of pocket parks throughout the development the estimated hoa dues at pathway and greenway are 91 dollars a month however at meadows because it's going to be gated the estimated hoa is about 170 dollars a month your estimated property taxes in this neighborhood, including all special assessments, will be about 2%. I wanna take a second and mention solar in here as well. It's a little bit of a unique experience compared to other new construction developments because they have a contract with Sonova for a power wall in addition to your solar panels. So solar in this community costs a bit more than it does in other new construction developments. If you choose to lease your solar, it will land somewhere between $140 and $180 a month. And if you choose to purchase your solar outright, it's expected to cost between $30,000 and $40,000. In terms of incentives, Pulte is currently offering $15,000 towards closing costs when you use their in-house lender. I say currently because incentives change all of the time and this is as of mid-August 2023. So if you're seeing this video several months down the road, the incentives are likely different and you should reach out to me before we go and tour the homes together. I can let you know what the current incentives are. I do want to mention schools real quick just to say that the high school is going to be part of the Paris Unified School District and the elementary and middle schools are going to be part of the Menifee School District. So which schools are exactly going to be assigned is yet to be determined. I will check in on that as time progresses and once we have a definitive answer on that, I'll let you know. And in the meantime, you can go on to greatschools.org, which I have in the description down below. You can check out the different schools in the area just to see what their ratings are. And if you want to do a deep dive into the statistics, feel free to do so. And that's going to wrap up this video on Cimarron Ridge. I hope this was helpful to you. I want to reiterate, take me with you on your very first visit to this development if you want to maintain representation. If you have any questions at all about 
about pricing, availability, or if you would like to meet up with me, here's my phone number, here's my Instagram, feel free to send me a DM, send me a text message, give me a phone call. I'll be happy to speak with you and get the process started. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, feel free to do so, smash the like button. I appreciate your support, thank you so much. I'll be back next week with another video and I hope you all have a really great weekend. We'll see you next time.